Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing this little fella. Baltimore Whiskey. Prestige. It's a prestige essence. What is an essence? Well, you see this fella here. You get a bottle of um, 750ml of either vodka. You could probably do it with gin actually. Plain gin. Um... I mean, if you get vodka from Spain, like four or five quid for 40%, uh, percent, make sure it's 40% ABV, uh, you get it for about a fiver. Or if you can do distilled spirit, even cheaper, you know, £1.25, £1.30 for distilled spirit. Um, check legalities. Add this to it, and woof, it blends into... Um, what is basically a whiskey and I'll just take a photo of this so yeah you, you give it a week and um, that's what it blends into which is weird isn't it you know if someone had told me a few years ago that um, you add anything to vodka you could turn it into any other spirit I'd have said you were mad but it is true any other spirit can be made by having vodka with whatever essence. Even Irish cream liqueurs, all sorts. Absolutely mad. Right. Prestige Essence Baltimore Whiskey. I'll leave that there. Here is information about the Prestige Essence's Baltimore Whiskey 20 millilitres flavours, 750 millilitres of vodka spirit moonshine. Yeah, thanks for that. Cheers, Google. So, add one of these little bottles of vodka or to moonshine. Moonshine. The, it says here, the essence in Baltimore whiskey is a scotch type whiskey, particularly suitable for mixing with soft drinks. So, here it is. First time I've had a drink. Well, not first time I've had a drink, but you know, first time this one, anyway, at least. So, look at that little beauty. Crystal clear, as you'd expect. Um, good colour to it. That standard whiskey colour, you know, that uh, amber colour. No, I'm, I'm drinking it neat, because after the long day I've had, I need something neat. Um, my wife's taking son to work, the sun to work tomorrow so I can get a lay-in. Well, a bit of a lay-in at least. And uh, it got mugged around about a year ago, a year and a half ago now. No, a year and a third ago. And uh, we still take him to work, you know, it still shook him up. And uh, I suppose as it would for anybody, you know, this day and age we live in, it's, uh, it's a bit naughty. A lot of bloody idiots around. Twats with knives and guns, thinking of the the unstoppable, and uh, you find out in life that you are certainly not unstoppable. So, wow, it's got some poke to it, bloody hell! So, maybe vodka, whiskey essence. It's whiskey. Uh, it's not. A, I also did a single malt whiskey the other day as well, and that turned out really well. In fact, it turned out really well. It had me on my back, and it took it round to me um, cousins, and they drank it, and uh, they were well impressed. So it just goes to show you, you know, some people might scoff at these, but the quality is there. If you can get the vodka, because that's the element you've got to get cheap, you can get the decent vodka cheap, or distilled spirit or, or moonshine if I don't even know what moonshine is but uh, I know what putting is in, in Ireland whether that's the same sort of thing I'm not sure um, if you can get the same if you can get it cheap enough then you can have whiskey for something if I'm distilled spirit this only the little bottle only cost me 17 69 pence two quid for a 750 ml bottle of whiskey basically you know, if you did the distilled spirit way, and if you did it the cheap vodka way, still really, really cheap. But if you do it, if you if you get something like uh, Smirnoff and do it that way, it's not going to be no cheap. You know, you might as well just buy whiskey. Oh, 
So, got vanilla in it. Um, what does it say here? Ooh. Oh, bloody hell! That's potent. That is. That's a uh, so pretty much a standard um, Baltimore. So they're, they're trying to make it into an Irish whiskey, really. And I'll tell you now, it uh, it's got some poke on it. It's not smoky or anything like that. Certainly not a single malt. More in the line of, um, not your Bell's whiskey really, it's that sort of um, potentness, you know, that type of whiskey, more of a you know, standard whiskey, should we say, not your top class whiskies, but even so, you know, still um, decent enough. I'm trying to get, see what other, if anybody, what, you know, if there's any reviews, uh, tap in review. Just out of curiosity, there we go. I mean, someone here has given it a f five out of five. Don't go that far. Well, they're saying it's an ultra premium um, essence. So, I'm a bit. So the reviews are absolutely outstanding for it. Um, oh, that is strong. Obviously it's 40%, so it's going to be strong. Um, for me, a bit more, I'm the sort of person who really rather drink it with Coke, you know, just to take out the, um, the elements it's got in it at the moment. But wow, that's strong. Right, so, I can't get a lot from the aroma to be honest, it just smells and tastes like whiskey does, you know, um, I've had Jack, not Jack Daniels, that's bourbon, but um, I've had Bells, White and Mackay, and Famous Grouse, and it's it's tastes equal to what they taste, you know. And uh, I got it for 69 pence. Normally £1.79 for the essence. And then whatever you pay for the vodka or distilled spirit. But what I can say is, it's damn nice. Oh! Bloody hell. Oh. Oh. Couldn't drink a lot of that. You'd be battered. Um, out of five. Does what it says on the tin. Um, taste is exceptional. Um, it looks the job. Smells like it. Um, yeah, can't really fault it. Really, the price was amazing. I uh, got it from Ballyhoo Brew, and they had a load discontinued. I don't think the Prestige Essences have done as well as the Still Spirits, but I find the Prestige Essences decent enough. You know, uh, all down to taste. Uh, I've got some weird and wacky varieties that I picked up. And I'll be doing reviews of them soon, like an agave snaps. I don't know what that's going to taste like. And another thing called Ekravit, which is some sort of Swedish liqueur. So looking forward to doing them. So anyway, out of five, 4.5 out of five. Taste was immense. Can't really say any different. If I had somebody outside, they're not spooky. It's about 10 o'clock in the evening now. Don't want to be anybody walking up to my door, banging on my door, scared the life out of me. Anyway. Thanks for watching. See you soon.